confusing. But I always did consider myself a very strong feminist, right? Always ready to prove myself at any moment. But I have to admit, I'm getting a little bit sick of all of that. And I think the main reason is that uh, the main avenue that we women have been given to prove ourselves is by going to work. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> we sure showed you guys that we too can get up in the morning and go to work and wish we weren't there. <laughs> Fucking day. <laughs> we sure showed you guys. Ha 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 ha. Ah, my manager from work is in here tonight. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. It's only going to get worse from here, darling. So strap in. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, so where are we up to? Work all day. Yeah, we sure showed you guys. I really think, isn't there some other way that we could, uh, you know, prove our equalness if anyone still feels the need to prove it? Personally, I'm happy to just stay at home and potter around the house all day. But if people out there are still feeling the need to prove themselves, might I suggest that we settle the score once and for all with the ultimate sexual battle of the sexes Right, so I've got to lean on the stick for this one, based on this criteria. Whoever can come the most in one night wins. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys want to take me on? <laughs> i got my vibe. I'm getting a bit nervous because we're going into risky territory that involves work and I've got people from work here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Okay, we're never going to see each other same at work ever again, you guys, but we'll just have to go with the new normal. So, 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 I was cold. I thought I've got to warm up from the inside, right? I've got to warm up from the inside. <clears throat> so you know what I did? I joined a website for kinky people. That warms you up. Yeah. My eyes were very open. Very interesting, I must admit. Um... My username was Ms. Horny Nympho Flip Me Around Like a Rag Doll Kinky Slut. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I got 15 likes for the name alone. I've considered it using it in everyday life. At least I don't have to spell my name anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have a look at my name in the brochure, you'll see what I mean. Um, and there are fetishes, all kinds of fetishes. There's uh, domination and submission and dress-ups and age play and all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, my personal favourite at the moment is uh, stay home from work, smoke weed and have sex all day. <laughs> uh, I don't actually do that, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a fantasy. <laughs> but if I could do that, that would be awesome. Uh, also, I have four masters and six daddies and five doms. Yes, so many people to tell me what to do. Oh, it's just like being at work. <laughs> <laughs> Only better. <laughs> in fact, in fact, on Monday, when I go to work, I am going to bring in a butt plug and my brand new riding crop. <laughs> and when my manager starts ragging on me and telling me what to do, I'm going to, you know, the manager's sitting right there. I'm going to tell her to pull down my pants and stick that up my butt and spank me with that. And I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I have to tell you the truth, you guys. I wrote that gag when Alison was my manager. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know Alison, she is a very lovely, conservative... 60-something-year-old woman who wears cardigans. <laughs> the thought of her doing that is so out of control that it's, it's extra hilarious. <laughs> extra hilarious. Um, so, and you know what? I reckon that you should all come in to work with me on Monday and watch. What do you reckon? <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah! Let's make it a good day of work. Uh, it might get a little awkward, though. 
because I'm a cook in a childcare centre. Right. 